Good morning, it's Chris at City Girl Homestead and Jack. And today we're gonna do our baking for tomorrow and Sunday. And we're gonna teach Jack how to make his own pies. Because we went to the store yesterday. And how much were the pies a piece, Jack? Uh, t over ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. So we're gonna start out with a sweet potato pie. And my nose is running like crazy today. You can probably see it even in my eyes. Jack's going to do all the mixing and stuff. This was actually, let me pull you down here just a little bit. This was actually dehydrated sweet potatoes. And we rehydrated it, didn't we, Jack? Yeah. It's pretty cool. So anyways, the first thing, we're going to make enough for four pies. We're only going to make three. But whatever's left, we'll use. And then Jack can bake it up and um, use it for his Christmas celebration on Sunday so we need to have a half a cup of butter but we what we're doing is three quarters of a cup of butter so go ahead and put that in there all of it. yep Jack's doing all the work because he always says he told my sister I watch her but obviously he's not learning by just watching. So we need to be a little patient today when I'm doing the instructions here. Okay. Now use that to take all that butter out of there. You don't want to waste it. Oh, my cold would be getting better by now and it's just, oh. Hanging on. All right, you got it? Yeah. Okay. So, the next thing we need is we need a cup of sugar, so we're going to do, I'm going to do. Not the additional sugar now. Nope, not yet. No, right now, just. Okay. We're going to do a cup and a half. Because we don't know how much is actually there until we get it all mixed together. Then it says we need a half a cup of milk. So, we're going to use three quarters quarters of a cup of milk. If you want, you can start using that spoon just to kind of stir it together. <laughs> and that way it makes it easier to blend it up. We need two eggs, so we're going to do three. Oh, I knew I broke that egg on that one measuring thing. Use the big spoon, Jack. We left over there. One, two. Three. We're kind of making everything up for three three um pies here. So then it says to use um, a teaspoon of vanilla. Go ahead and keep stirring. So I'm going to use about a teaspoon and a half. <coughs> and it says use a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So we're going to use a teaspoon. And then it says to use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're going to use a full teaspoon. Nutmeg and cinnamon, I don't, in my opinion, you really can't. I mean, you can overdo it, but I don't think it's one I'd worry too much about. All right, so now just whip that up a little bit, and then I'll let you use the blender. How's that? Not that I'll let him use the blender, but then we can use the blender. He's a grown man and do what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so put your spoon back over there. Believe me, we're going to do this a whole lot cheaper than 40 bucks for four pies. Now, do you know how to use those properly? Okay, let me show you something first. Because otherwise, you're going to spray it all over me. Put it down first. Then... And try to hold that cord out of the way. Here we go. Now hold the cord out of the way too. 
this up since it's really loud and we'll be right back. Alright, so we tried to save you guys' ears. So the first thing he's going to do is he's got his pie crusts here. You're going to start filling that. Don't worry, it's not going to drip all over the place. It's thicker. We have a bunch of left over. I'll make a cake with it and then make a frosting to go on it. How's that sound? Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. Just a little bit more, probably. Let's see here. We'll get a spoon. We're going to kind of flatten it out a little bit. Because you don't want one part of the pie that doesn't, you know work. Okay, so now I'll put that one over there on the... Now this one, we always put baking to baking um, cookie sheets underneath of it, because you know if it overflows or anything like that. I don't really want it in the bottom of my of my oven. <laughs> and you want to do that with your pumpkin pies as well. Which we're going to teach Jack how to make pumpkin pie today too, aren't we, Jack? Yeah. I could not believe we went to that grocery store and it was ten ninety eight. For a pumpkin, frozen pumpkin pie. Yeah. And all the other pies were the same cost. I was like, Jack, we can do this cheaper. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and put that one in. Then you can open up the oven and put both those in there. He wants you to grab that 8x8 eight eight pan over there. It's the little glass one in behind there. Oh. Now my pie crust will probably shrink a little bit because I didn't pre-cook it. Alright, so you can do that one. Put that on here. Yep, and then let me see my 8x8. Eight I think there'll be enough for that pie in there, don't you? Yeah. Whatever we don't have, whatever we have left, we'll send home in a bowl, and Missy will eat it right up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She loves sweet potatoes. I can't believe how beautiful the sweet potatoes turn out when, um, you want to tip that up a little bit? When, uh, You dehydrate them. Just a minute, let me get a scraper here. Okay. Right. Well, sucks to be messy. There's not gonna be any left over today. <laughs> then I'll make like a brown sugar topping or something for it. Go ahead and put it over there. Now, because I don't have room in my oven like that, we're going to try to put that here. Hold on a second, Jack. Let's do this a little different. I'm going to have that small one in here somewhere. Yep. Put my pie, no, put my pie on that. Oh, you pie on that one? And then you can put that next to it in the oven. <clears throat> now these are going to bake on 350 which we have no 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 you don't need that in there just just the pan itself oh the glass pan he'll get it he'll get it <laughs> takes a minute but he'll get it i just figure if he's got hands on to everything he's going to learn how to do this right jack yeah. okay so now we have that on there. We're going to, um, it cooks for 55 to 60 minutes. So what I'll do probably in about 45 minutes is I'll check and see how much, how much it's cooked through. 
But we'll be back. Jack will finish his pies. You can crunch down. <laughs> and then we're going to go on to his pumpkin pies. So this one is an adventure for Jack today, isn't it? Yeah. He thought I'd just do it, didn't you? Yeah. Wrong answer. <laughs> Me and my sister were just talking about this last night. That he Did you say something to her about you just watch what I do? Yeah. Yep. So today that's why he's doing hands-on so that he's not actually just watching me. He's doing it. So he's going to learn. So we'll be back when these are done. 